Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl ABD and this is my passion. Welcome back everyone to this tutorial on how to cook egg sea soup, otherwise known as melon soup. If today is your first time joining, please kindly subscribe and turn the notification bell on for a weekly update so that you don't miss out on any of my uploads. So let's get straight to our recipe for this yummy delicacy. So first on my list is smoked chicken, dried fish, red bell and scotch bonnet, one onion bulb, tripe, whole crayfish, spinach or any vegetable of preference, smoked mackerel, locust bean, grounded melon, one cup of palm oil, cow skin, shrimps, salt and stock to taste. First off, wash and blend the red bell peppers, scotch bonnet and onion in a food processor and pour that in a pot. Add the cow skin. You can cut that to whichever size you want. Add the dried fish. You can use whichever fish of preference. Add the tripes, smoked chicken, crayfish. I prefer not to grind it so you can use the grounded one. Add the locust bean and some water and then you stir. Sprinkle some stock and salt to taste and allow that to cook for 5 to 6 minutes. Add the fresh shrimps and shredded mackerel and stir. I'm going to use um, one and a half cup of grounded melon and I want it to form some kind of meaty ball so I added some water to make that into a paste and then I began to scoop that in tiny bits. After I was done scooping, I added one cup of palm oil. If you want your egg soup to look so attractive, you can consider using more palm oil but too much palm oil is considered as being unhealthy. So you allow that to cook for 8 minutes. Guys, can you see some of the balls right there? I decided to break down some of the balls. Add your green vegetable of choice. Um, we don't want the green vegetable to overcook. So you stir that till it's even and then you allow that to steam for 1 minute on a low heat. So what I did was after I had done that, I just turned off my um, cooker and I allowed that to steam. Your egusi soup should be looking like this. Yeah, it should be looking like this. You can serve this with any dish of preference. So guys, I'm going to be trying this out with some pounded yam. <laughs> this brings us to the end of the tutorial. Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Please like, share and subscribe till I come your way again next time. Stay cool and be happy. Bye-bye.